Judging yourself and judging others is the topic. Take a moment to reflect on yourself the worst thing you have ever done. It could be something you did recently or something back in the past. Don't settle for the smallest fault, flaw or fault. Dig something very bad up. If you can't think of anything bad, look for something that may have been took up in front of a jury or got you hurt or something that could have made you horrified. If it if it ended up at the head of the news. If you can't think of anything, congrats. You are either a perfect saint or you're skilled at repressing what you don't want to remember. Now for all you who did remember a shameful act that you have done, how do you explain it? Now that you had time to come up with a possible reason why, let me guess what some of y'all said. said. I had too much anger at that time. I had too much to drink. It was stupid of me. I went along with the crowd. I was there. I didn't know any better. I thought I was being cool. I wasn't thinking. And I wanted to fit in now. Picture, now picture someone else doing the same thing you did in the past. What would your explanation be for the other person? Being the rational person you are, you will say the same reason. I did these things. But in total honest, you probably won't. It would be way different from any of your answers, especially if it was someone close to you. Your response to why they do stuff would be more likely be, how could they do that? Don't they love me? What kind of person are they? They are one sick person. Why is one ex expectation higher than another. While being judgmental, people tend to attribute enduring personalities or char characteristics as if she or he is irresponsible. While judging ourselves, we are easy to excuse ourselves. We need to clean, clean ourselves up before we try and clean ourselves up before we try to clean everyone else up. We're easy and overlook things when it's us. Don't judge people. You're not God or a judge. So please look past people's faults. Instead of looking for faults, look for the good in people. Romans 14.1 Romans 14, 1 says, Him that is weak in the faith, receive ye. Not to doubtful disputions. He didn't even judge himself, the people did. Romans 14, 18. For he that in these things Servant to Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Don't judge others for their doing. Let the Lord do that. We all have our own convictions. Just because you feel it's wrong for you doesn't mean that it's right for the next person. When a fellow Christian does something, God, God says is a sin. You can agree with God.
but most of them know they are in sin. Simply talk to them as a friend. Don't criticize them or gossip because gossiping and criticism, criti criticizing them makes it worse. And you don't make friends, you make enemies that way. And make people run the wrong direction, but help them want to quit sinning. Come up with something to fill the spot of sin. Because the more you criticize people, they're going to run from God. But if you try to help them as a friend and not criticize them, they're more than likely going to want to turn from it.